hello friends and i think this is the moment that will shake you as a surgeon so this is a quiz about why it happened and what will you do differently for such cases so this is a brown cataract you can see it's a hard cataract there is some corneal opacity there and a pupil which is small so i want to take care of the pupil first so i used a b hex pupil expansion ring followed by capsular axis and this is my standard technique half trench and uh, i go for the chop then and you can see this is a vertical trenching technique where i don't uh, move the phaco tip horizontally but rather giving vertical kind of trenches and then this is the first chop i patiently wait for the nucleus to crack as far as possible using the multi level chopping technique this is a hard cataract leathery one long standing cataract for this patient and we want to do safe phaco emulsification of this using good heavy dispersive ovd to take care of the endothelium there making small pieces out of the heminuclei that's the trick and now i'm going to start the quadrant removal you can watch the parameters i am going to use here so you can see i am using the 400 vacuum when you remove 115 cm of iop equivalent to 115 cm of bottle height taking out the pieces one by one very good followability you can see the anterior chamber is rock steady no fluctuations at all i am going to keep my phaco tip right at the center of the anterior chamber that is the deepest part and once half nucleus is over i am going to take a break to replenish the dispersive ovd and then continue for the second hemi nucleus i am going to use uh, 90% of the longitudinal phaco power with 25 milliseconds of burst and 100% uh, torsional with 80 milliseconds of burst this avoids any corneal wound burn now let's focus on the last piece so this is the second last piece which is getting emulsified i changed the illumination to retro mode so i can see the posterior capsule better and here comes the last piece i am going to change the vacuum to 300 and peristaltic mode here because i can see some anterior capsule bulge and there it happened just watch it again watch it more carefully what is happening there you can check the vacuum parameters also on the right and this is the moment that uh, we all surgeon are afraid of well the phaco tip did catch the posterior capsule and i'm not sure what has happened there so i'm going to push some ovd with my non dominant hand and reassess the situation there are few nuclear fragments which are still there and this is a hard cataract brown cataract so we can't leave those pieces so that's the case i want you all to review revisit re check what was happening all throughout a very important quiz to participate in i want you to answer these questions you have seen the video thoroughly watch it again and uh, right from the beginning and uh, till the end you have to look for the changes in parameters that i did for the last piece i want you to answer these questions why the phaco tip catch hold of the posterior capsule despite change in the parameters was there a surge during the last piece what will you do differently in your case to avoid this and after the posterior capsule was caught was there a posterior capsular rupture there and how will you proceed 
if there is or there is not a posterior capsular rupture in this case. I want you to think about this case as you are the operating surgeon and then you can answer this in detail. So I am looking forward to answers from you. Do write your answers in the comments box. I am looking forward to lot of answers from you so that we can learn from it together. This is one quiz which will help you to avoid complications in your last piece which is I think the most important part of FACO surgery where you may have these kind of accidents happening. Looking forward to your answers. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and also share with your friends and colleagues.